Oh my God, what a ripoff. Who will tell that these are the dupes <laughs> when I'm like, if you saw me on the street walking around, you don't never know, girl, because you know, you know, because I'm wearing them, they're not wearing me. These are, these are, <laughs> these are good. Look at this. Oh, these are good. Put it down for me. Say you down for me. Say you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome to this your first time here. My name is Rebecca. I have been hearing about Timo. It's a website, but they have an app also. And out of curiosity, I just wanted, I went ahead and placed an order just to see. They literally have everything from makeup to home decor to clothes. I am curious. Let me know below. Have you guys even heard about Temu or Timo? Because I literally just heard about it a couple of weeks ago and I was curious. But when you go on there, it's just so addicting and so inexpensive. Like you can literally end up ordering a hundred things. I think I ordered like 22 items. But we're going to go ahead and open this and see what's in here. It probably took like almost a week, I guess, uh, to arrive. So unless I kind of like, I'm filming on my phone. So unless I grab my phone and the app to see what I ordered, I kind of forgot. Uh, everything that I ordered but I think it would come back to me as I open this so the first impression when I picked up the package is just how what's the word sloppy <laughs> it's really just how sloppy they package this one I've seen some people unboxing it's like really pretty like cute orange boxes but mine is really sloppy the first thing out of the bag what is this I think this was a Scarf. Yep, I remember this one. I got this black and white scarf square. I liked it on the picture. Okay, it kind of looks how it looks on the picture. The quality, like you can tell, is polyester. It has that little that silky quality, but you can tell it's not really like satin. It's, you can totally tell that it is polyester, but it's kind of cute. This stuff was inexpensive. I'll pop up the prices on the screen because like I said, the app and the things that I order on my phone and I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really tell you guys the price, but I pop them up on the screen when, I st when I'm editing. And then the next thing, what is this? Looks like another piece of fashion. What's this? Oh, a bodysuit. I remember. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks big. Ooh, what size did I get? So there's no tag or size on it. 2XL. Why did I get a 2XL bodysuit? That is stretchy. So it's a bodysuit. I got a 2XL. Um, I think it was like a scoop neck or something. It looks big because these are supposed to be like really, um, you know, fitted. But the quality is good. It's kind of like a heavy knit. It's not bad for the price. Totally not bad. Another piece of clothing. I don't even remember ordering this many clothes. Oh, I ordered this. I remember this. This is a jumper, a uh, bodysuit. It's just one of those like bodysuits that you wear at like home or something with like an oversized cardigan. Oh. Uh, blazer no not blazer or sweater I got this one in a size extra large so plenty of stretch can't wait to try that on although it's giving like honestly Shein is giving Shein quality uh, but for the price you know I wasn't expecting it to be that much better I ordered this has this LA, this LA black hat. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if it's the way it was in the package, but it's kind of like folded here. Hopefully it will straighten back up. But this is it. I like to wear hats sometimes. Okay, it's not bad actually. It's, it fits and it's nice. Okay, I like to wear hats and I think that's 
totally gonna work. I'm actually really impressed with the hat quality. Like it's pretty much like something you get at like H&M or Target. So nice for the price. And then I ordered, ooh, I ordered a little, mm -hmm. I ordered a little twilly or twilly looking kind of, you know, twilly inspired. So first impression, I have a real Hermes twilly and I can totally tell that the quality is not the same. This one is definitely not 100% soak. This is polyester, 100% soak polyester, but look at the color, how cute. I can use it as a headband or I can tie it on a purse. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. And that one, that's one thing I noticed. They have a lot of like designer dupes too. So you can go in there and find you some designer dupes. What is this? Looks like sunglasses. Whoa. So all these things I paid like I think $50 max. Oh, sunglasses, yeah. I ordered this oversized. I think I ordered like two or three pairs of sunglasses. I ordered this oversized sunglasses. I'm pretty sure they are designer inspired. I'm a sunglass addict. Like I really can't help it. I have so many sunglasses and I keep buying. Oh, these are these are <laughs> these are good. Look at this. Oh, these are good. Oh, these are so good. These are really good. I like the shape. It's really like unusual. The lens is kind of like a brownish, you know, a yellowish tint. Has like a yellowish tint to it. I like those. What is this? Let's see. I'm using my bike camera phone and I can see. Hopefully I'm in frame and everything because that would be such a waste. Of an unboxing. Oh, okay. What is this that I ordered? The packaging is kind of neutral. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure I got it because of the packaging. Oh, okay. So I got a little like traveling, um, traveling size like brushes set. Um, I think that's like foundation, powder, or blush. And then these are like for like eyes. Yeah. And I totally I remember getting it because of the color because it's neutral. It's cute, you know. I think it looks nice to just have it in your bag. They all look very cheap, I'm not gonna lie. Like the box is flimsy. <laughs> the box is flimsy, you know, there's nothing on it, but the color is neutral and it's giving the aesthetic that we like. The brushes are kind of cute, but you can tell that they are kind of cheap too. But uh, this was, I'm, I'm gonna pop up the uh, price, but this was probably like a dollar or less, or less than two dollars, but yeah. So you will understand why I ordered the things that I ordered and why I keep I kept ordering things. I'm telling you, when you see things for like 99, 98 cents, one dollar, two dollars, you're just gonna keep ordering and before you know it, you have a hundred items and you're paying like $50. Probably not, because I think I got 22 items and I paid 50. And, oh, another pair of sunglasses. I had something similar from Shein that I ordered a while back and I, they broke. So I ordered another one of these. These are definitely designer inspired, you know, the flat on top one. Look at this, they're also oversized. Black sunglasses, ooh. Oh, I like this. Mm, yeah yeah these are good i like this oh yeah okay 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 let me throw the wrap oh and also by the way their return policy is really good actually they say you can return anything and it's free if you return anything in one shipping it's free so you pretty much have to like try out everything and make and see what you like or what you don't like before you send them back. Then it will be free shipping, which I, I was impressed. You know, for this little cheap um website, sometimes their return policy is not the best. So this is okay. This is a clean a brush cleaner to clean your makeup brush. 
I've never used one of these, but I saw it. Like it just popped up as you're buying. They just keep suggesting your things. So they suggested this. I was like, oh, this is definitely something I think I will use to wipe clean your brushes. I guess you put like water on it and soap and then you push. It has this little um, grips on the bottom that will help like, you know, clean your makeup brushes. And the color is cute. The color is cute. Oh, I got a belt. I remember this now. I got a belt. Oh, this is too skinny. I got a belt. It didn't look this skinny on the picture. I didn't know it was going to be this skinny. And child, what's going on here? Let's cut this with scissors so we don't break this. It's a dupe. I'm not going to tell you guys what dupe. I'm not going to say any dupe names in this video. You guys can just figure it out. But once you see this belt, you will totally know what designer dupe it is i have the bag from the designer it's uh it's not it's high end but it's not like super like luxury it's like mid luxury kind of a brand but i literally just got this belt out of curiosity i wasn't looking for a belt pop top and i was like okay let me see let me see so can you guys tell it's a dupe obviously because it doesn't have the brand name oh it's backwards <laughs> it's a dupe because it doesn't have the brand the brand name or anything but you can tell what dupe that is and the color the color is not exactly the color of the bag i guess they try to mimic that color but because i have the bag it's not exact oh it fits it actually fits this is cute this is so cute. The quality is actually really good. I'm impressed with the quality. Obviously, I doubt that it will be real leather, but the quality is good. But it's too thin. I thought it was going to be bigger. It looked a little bigger on the picture, but I still like it. This is, it looks like this is the third pair of sunglasses. It's crazy how all these sunglasses just came like wrapped <laughs> kind of differently. This one actually came looks like it's in a bag in like a little dust bag or something okay yeah this one is in a little dust bag so i wonder if these things come from different vendors these sunglasses are a designer do that i actually have wait it looks like i dropped okay one of the sunglasses had this that i dropped but it's thick so i gotta, so I gotta check if the third if the first pair also has a little dust bag but this is a designer do these uh sunglasses are in my 2023 luxury wish list so when this popped up i was like this is the perfect time to see if they were spending three or four hundred dollars if i like them but you can tell though like it's just something about the dupes where you can tell it's not do you guys know what designer <laughs> something about like dupes where you can just tell the quality oh oh my god these are these are broken these are broke can you see it looks like it's tra it's scratch but if they fall once it's gonna crack open right there oh this is a bummer i feel like if i have more than one or two items to return i'll probably return them but if it's only if this is the only one oh oh <laughs> if this is the only thing that ended up like defective i might just keep it and just wear it just be careful not to drop them but this is a confirmation that i need the real deal but they will do it for now would you even tell like it really depends what you're wearing and how you carry yourself like who will tell that these are the dupes <laughs> when i'm like if you saw me on the street walking around you will never know girl because you know you know because i'm wearing them they're not wearing me this is so these are super nice if this is the only item that's defective i'm gonna keep them oh i wonder what this is this is kind of like a medium sized box what is this i gotta make sure i'm not leaving things in the boxes what is this oh damn this thing is small <laughs> This thing is tiny. I remember what this is. This is a little statue. Oh my God. 
what a rip off so i got this this is like a nice like decoration or whatever i'm gonna be honest though i did not read the description to see like how to see the measurements i didn't check i just looked at the picture and i just ordered it based on the picture i wasn't expecting it to be super big but i thought it was gonna be kind of like maybe three or four inches bigger but it's nice though i can put it on top of like my um coffee table books that are on my nightstand this is good i'm still gonna keep it it's smaller than i expected but i'm still gonna keep it i like it it's a nice art decor piece and it stands straight okay i completely i completely forgot about that one another box i don't know how they fit all these things in one bag like but they did, they did. Whatever is in here is well protected. Okay, another uh, another home decor piece. This is small. Come on. Come on. I did not look at um, measurements for this one either, but it looks so much bigger on the picture. Look at this. It had different sizes though. I think I got the smallest size. This is tiny. This is tiny. I don't know where I put this. This is tiny, but it's good. The quality is good. The color is nice. So now that I know how it is, I might go back and order the largest one because they have three. I think they have three uh, different sizes. What is this? Oh, it's a wig band um, for your edges. A wig wrap for your edges. This was probably like 80 cents. <laughs> Honestly, I just threw it in back. Ooh, I ordered this one too. Like I'm telling you guys, random things. Random-ish. Because they would just keep popping out and I'll be like, oh, this is cute. This is a soap, um, a soap holder. Like a soap bar holder. I like the neutral color. It goes with my bathroom and my bathtub uh, kind of color so and i am um about to order the chanel number no. five soap bar so i think it would be nice here this is cute neutral this was probably like a dollar or 50 cents i don't know i'll pop the price on the screen i order you know what i ordered this um these were supposed to be it comes in here these were supposed to be the wrist that that you put on your wrist when you're doing your skincare, but I think I only ordered one. So this is one. I thought I had ordered two, or I thought they were coming in a pair, but it looks like it's only one. I ordered two. Um, um, how you call this? Sponge, makeup sponge, no, um, beauty blenders. Even though I think Beauty Blender is the brand, but we call them Beauty Blenders. But I ordered these two makeup blend blenders. They come in a set, and I think they were less than a dollar. They were probably like 80 or 90 cents. So when they pop up on my suggestion, I just grabbed it. It's a pink and like a lavender, like a dark, no, like a dark red, burgundy, and like a purple. Cute colors, cute colors. Next, I'm just making sure my phone is still recording. I'm not sure you guys can see all the mess, but oh well. This is a real life unboxing. This is real. Oh, I ordered this bag. I forgot. This is small. Oh my god, I thought this was gonna be bigger. I totally thought this was gonna be bigger. This is like a little like mini vanity kind of bag. Uh, oh, this is flimsy. This is cheap. The color is cute, though. The color is cute, though. He has this. You guys know these bags, you know. It's a little, a little vanity, tiny little bag with the chain. The color is cute, but it's, this is plastic, bro. I'm not going to wear this. If my daughter wants it, I'll give it to her. If not... I'm going to send this back. It's pretty though. <laughs> Cute little thing, but it just looks too plasticky and it's way too tiny. I literally thought it was going to be like a little 
bigger so I can actually put at least my phone in it. My phone wouldn't even fit in this. So, but I'll see if my daughter wants it. She can have it. If not, I'm gonna send that back and probably send those glasses and ask them to send me another pair because I really like the glasses, the C dupes. Not a box, what's in here? What's in here? See how they fit all that. Oh, another home decor piece. Okay, this one is bigger. This one, this one, this is a this is what I expected. This is like a vase or a vase. You guys know this, you know, decorative vases. You can probably put just like one stick or two sticks of like flowers or four plants in there, or even nothing. I've seen people just use them for nothing. This would look nice on like a coffee table. I think I got this in like a natural white color this is nice actually yeah this is true to the size like these are pictured it to be this size because they had a big one too but i didn't want the big one because i wasn't sure what i was getting what i was getting myself into what quality i was gonna get so i was like let me see first if it's worth it but this one looks like it would it would break yeah you know, it looks like a ceramic not ceramic ceramic maybe but it looks like it will break if it falls so you gotta be careful with that one and then oh i ordered we have three little more things in here and i think that's it i ordered two pairs of earrings these are also smaller than i thought these ones are smaller those i knew they were going to be that size but these ones look smaller than i expected but these are just some like 18 karat gold plated um earrings i'm telling you they have everything gold plated earrings they got they have everything that's like the new amazon for real like you can even just search up anything and it'll pop up so they're a little too yellow <laughs> they are really yellow but i'm glad they're small though because my hair will probably uh, hide them they're a little too yellow looks cheap I like the gold plated that um like these ones I'm wearing right now are gold plated earrings from Amazon but they're not too yellow you know so they look a little more real when this is this this is too yellow this is just too yellow I still like them I'm still gonna keep them and wear them because I like to switch up my earrings sometimes or I'll see if my daughter wants Maybe I'll see if she wants this ones and I'll keep this one. But why are they so yellow though? Like why? They ain't the yellow. Okay, last thing. Last thing. I ordered a mask. I saw this one somewhere. I don't know if I saw it on TikTok. But when, they, when it popped out on my uh, suggestions, it looked familiar. And I wanted to try it out of curiosity. So I went ahead and ordered it. I think it's a mask stick, green clay or something, cleansing and beautifying solid mask. So, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this one on TikTok before. So it's like this on a stick, kind of like a dead one. And I guess we're not gonna demonstrate it now because I have makeup on. But I'm probably gonna use it tonight when I take my makeup off. Why isn't this coming off? It has a cover there that I'm trying to pop. Okay, I'm not, I can't take the cover off now. I'm not trying to break my press on nails. But I thought it was gonna be a little more greener here. Maybe it'll be green on the face, but um because on the picture um it looked green on the face but this is what it looks like it's just like a mask on a stick and it's supposed to be green clay but they didn't write anything else but cleansing beautifying solid mask and a bunch of ingredients um in the ingredients thing direction spin out the paste and apply evenly to face leave in Leave it on for about 10 minutes after it dries. Rinse with water. Okay. So, if you want a review on this after I use it, let me know. DM me on Instagram or on TikTok or something. And I'll tell you if it's worth getting. But it's so 
so inexpensive so everything actually works i am i'm i'm, imp I'm impressed i am totally pleasantly impressed except for these two these are gorgeous i love this they look so good but there's a crack here there's a line it looks like a scratch but you can see that it's a crack so if they fall it will they will split open and then this is too small and too cheap looking so if my daughter wants this i keep the glasses and just for the price that they were it's not worth going to the post office to ship those but if she doesn't want the bag then that's two things that i can ship back but other than that wow you guys saw all the stuff that i got crazy insane so temu is definitely legit guys it's legit it's legit i'm pretty sure you've been hearing about it saying it give it a try give it a try don't expect like the highest quality of course for the price that you're gonna pay but it's legit so i feel like i'm gonna be and i ordered this what's today they came saturday today's sunday they came saturday and i think i ordered this like maybe wednesday or tuesday i don't remember but it wasn't super long or monday i don't know it wasn't super long it was like within the week and then they tell you they give you a window if you don't get it by this time we give you a five dollar credit so they they sure they they're pretty sure that you're gonna get it before and you're gonna get it on time and quick so this is the video guys this was really an impromptu kind of video i got the package um yesterday but i wasn't here so when I was about to open it, I thought it would be a nice uh, unboxing. I was just gonna open it and maybe talk to you guys in my next video about it, but I thought it would be nice to just do a little Timu haul or Timu. I don't even know how it's called. I should have already done my research to know if it's Timu or Temu before I even filmed this video. This is so unprofessional, but you know. <laughs> So hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully it will help you decide if you want to order from them. I will try my best to link everything below. And thanks for sticking around and watching this video and comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up are important guys. Liking this video is so important for us small creators, small YouTubers. It helps you to push our videos and show them to other people. So please, you know, I know sometimes we forget. I used to forget to when I before I started creating content I used to just watch a video really enjoy it but I will never have that just um uh reflex to like somebody video you know but like just hit that like button it's really important for the algorithm and we really appreciate it and if you like my content subscribe too so the channel can grow follow me on social medias I'm gonna put them up there or up there somewhere <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I see you on the next video.